welcome back. Today I am at the Orange County Fairgrounds for something that I used to attend all the time and because of COVID they haven't been having them. But today I am going to go to the gem fair. Everything from jewelry making to already made spectacular jewelry. Most of the event is inside luckily but it's a nice day and I wanted to take you with me so let's go inside. Well, it's been a while and it is a Saturday, so I think it's probably a little more crowded than in the past. But really, it's a quick line and once you get in, things move along because you go at your own pace. The first thing that everybody needs to know when you go to one of these gem fairs is that there are going to be a lot of pre-made jewelry and it's typically up at the front when you very first go in. Some of it's real, as you can see here, some of it's costume, but it's beautiful to look at, but I never buy anything right out of the gate. There are also plenty of strings of beads, so if you're making your own jewelry, there's going to be plenty to pick from. Glass, custom designs, did you see those teddy bears? <laughs> really, anything that can be carved or made out of stone. White Mountain is located in California, and I really wanted you to hear Mohammed tell you all about his business. He was so sweet and was very eager to tell you all about him, but I could not get the audio. There was too much background. It's really noisy here. So I have his business information, and of course, I will list all of that below so that you can visit him on Facebook or his website. <laughs> Thanks, Mohammed. Now this is something I haven't seen before at the gem show. Jewelry for a princess. Where do you go if you're a princess and you need a new tiara? Welcome. Thank you. you like my tiara? I love all of this. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And I guess I don't have to be a princess to wear this. Just feel yes, like one, everybody right? Everybody buying it these days. I love they it. They love to have it. How are you, If you're in the market for real jewels, there are some amazing deals to be had here. All carrots, cuts, colors, and clarity. They are all real, and they are beautiful. Now we're getting into one of my favorite parts of the gem and bead show. This is called the global marketplace where you will find very unique items, things that are indigenous to the area from which they have come. Now this particular booth here is actually from Tucson, but some beautiful things. And I just love this whole section of the show and I think you're gonna like some of these things too. Laramar is one of my favorite stones. It's beautiful. The meaning is clear communication. That's what the stone represents because it was born in the heat of a volcano erupting into the water. So they say that that's the clear communication between the heat and the cooling of the water. Where are you located? So our shop is in Dominican Republic. Oh. We do everything there and uh -huh. then bring it here for the shows. Yeah. Is that where the Laramar is from? Yes. It's in the south part of the island in Barahona. My husband is from there, so... I, I like it a lot. It's pretty. This is kind of like the piece I have. Now I know they're not beads or gems, but this is amazing handiwork. This is made from telephone wire. I thought they were so beautiful. Can you even imagine how long it takes to make one of these baskets? So based on that, I think they're very fairly priced. Really pretty, very light too. Telephone wire. Okay, how about butterfly wings? This is from Peru. These gorgeous, gorgeous earrings. Uh, so many, hard to pick. I thought this was interesting too, that they tell you about the butterfly. These fabric earrings and necklaces were just lovely. They were so lightweight, feather, feather light, and soft to touch. Really liked them. 
kind of the new version of a worry bead. Okay, now if there's any mermaids in the house, you probably are gonna like this. These pearls were just beautiful. Speaking of pearls, look at this. Oh, he calls them natural treasures, and I agree. I think they're spectacular. Talk about a statement piece. Can you imagine if you were going to the tropics or on a cruise, all you would need was that little simple black or white dress, maybe a strapless or a gauzy, and then this? What a showstopper. Well, talk about a showstopper. Can you imagine this in your entryway, your home, your office? These were so beautiful. Big, heavy, and rather expensive. So whether you make jewelry and you need the findings, the little doodads to actually make the jewelry, or whether you just like jewelry, this is a fun place to be and I think that everyone will find something. The prices go down to pennies, up to thousands as you saw. I've been here a couple of hours and I really haven't even seen everything. There are a couple of booths that I'm gonna go back and look at again. From the Gobi Desert, look at this. They come out of the ground, well, they come out of the volcano looking like this, laying on the ground, just like this. Well, maybe there's a little dirt, maybe a little mud, but there is nothing done to this to get these colors. So all they do is they do a little drilling so that they can put a finding on it to support it onto a chain, maybe drill a hole for a bracelet. I fell in love with these little confectionery treats. Talk about arm candy. So yep, I got the yellow one with the green eyes. And across the aisle just happened to be the place where I picked up a little silver chain. So they really have everything here that you need, whether you are making jewelry, selling jewelry, repairing jewelry, they have everything. And these little doodads, I call them, they're called findings. And that would include everything from silver and gold, little rings. Uh, here you can see loops if you are selling jewelry. Uh, these are the findings, everything to make earrings, chains, necklaces, hooks, all of those things. Just everything you need. My last stop is out on the patio where you find the really good deals and steals. Things that I dare not look at before I actually go in. <laughs> Otherwise I'd be, you know, loaded down before I even got into the show. Hey, thanks for joining me today at the Gym and Bead Show. If you have not subscribed, I would love to have you join me every Thursday. Hey, go out and do something fun today. Take care. Bye-bye.